Now, your weather rate certified most accurate forecast. Fox 54 weather. Well, Emily, I know we don't have a lottery here, but mm -hmm. I guess, you know, hypothetically, if you if you got your, your ticket from Tennessee and you, yeah. and you won, would you want people to know? No, but it would probably <laughs> give it away if I just stopped showing up to work here that I did win the lottery. So. You mean you wouldn't stay? <laughs> no, if it was as much as what the lottery is now, no, no way in heck would I stay. <laughs> I would be sitting on my couch until the end of time for me. And I was going to say, what would you do if you won the lottery? Honestly, that's a million dollar question, billion dollar question here. Well, yeah, true. Honestly, <laughs> I probably would make myself have some sort of hobby because I would get bored, right, right. but I definitely wouldn't have a uh, five days a week job, eight to whatever it is. Understood. Our, our hours are weird. It's Understood. weird. Yeah. I'll tell you so. what's not weird though, and that's the weather that we saw today. It was actually beautiful out there. Uh, we didn't see really anything and our regional radar shows that throughout the last six hours. But zooming things out though, we do see a few clouds off to our uh, north, but that's really about it. So we're going to stay quiet throughout the rest of tonight. And hey, it looks like we're going to stay quiet throughout at least the next few days here. Temperatures are pretty chilly out there. Low 50s, upper 40s for some. We've dipped down to 49 in Pulaski, Decatur, 48 right now in Coleman, 49 in Florence and in Russellville. And it looks like Fort Payne currently sitting at 48 degrees. So I'm thinking temperatures probably going to drop into the mid and upper 40s for the overnight tonight, so I do have a little warmer in quotations because we're not going to be seeing the upper 30s like we did last night, and we will continue to sit under a clear sky. That's how we'll start your Columbus day off a low 50s by 6 a.m. Once the sun rises, temperatures going to follow. We should be in the mid 70s by noon, and it looks like temperatures going to top out in the upper 70s for the afternoon. We'll continue to see plenty of sunshine. And it looks like we'll be staying dry throughout uh, tomorrow. We could see gusty winds up to 20 miles per hour, so don't be surprised if you do catch a breeze throughout the day tomorrow. So like I mentioned earlier, high temperatures are going to be rising. It looks like we'll be back in the low 80s by Tuesday, and we'll stay in the 80s throughout at least Thursday. But we are going to be tracking another cold front that's expected to move through at some time between Friday and Saturday. Right now it's looking more like Friday late afternoon, so that will drop temperatures back down into to the lower 70s, upper 60s by this time next week. So there's that cold front that I mentioned. Like I said, it looks like it's going to be moving through sometime Friday afternoon. Low pressure system as of right now looks to stay farther towards our north, meaning it doesn't look like we're going to have enough energy to produce any severe weather as of right now. But we all know that weather can change between now and Thursday, but it's not looking like anything to be uh, worried about. So 50% come Friday, that's from when that frontal boundary is expected to move through. We'll keep a few lingering showers in the forecast for Saturday morning, but other than that, that's really the only good soaking rainfall that we uh, look to see here. So if you are planning to wash your car within the next five days, Monday through Thursday probably wouldn't be bad to do so, but just know it is going to be raining on Friday, so probably wouldn't do it Friday, but hey, that's your choice. Uh, we definitely do need the rain, though, because the entire Tennessee Valley pretty much is under the moderate category drought-wise. Uh, I'm really not expecting to see a whole lot of rainfall accumulation once the system moves through from Friday into early Saturday. Really, all of us probably going to be staying under a tenth of an inch. Some of us may get lucky though and see a little bit above a tenth of an inch. So your seven day forecast looks like this. If I can get it to pull up, here we go. Upper 70s tomorrow. Plenty of sunshine will stay sunny heading into your Tuesday, low 80s. A few showers possible Wednesday, but like I mentioned, rain really is going to move through Friday once that cold front moves through and it's going to drop temperatures down back into the upper 60s by this time next week. So